Fourth District Sedgwick County Commissioner Richard Ranzaz in the race of his political life against challenger Hugh Nix. The consistent drumbeat of criticism against Ranzaz that he says no to everything. We hear it from all sides, the media, his opponent, the Wichita Chamber of Commerce, to name a few. They suggest that the commission has all these great ideas on spending other people's money. And life would be amazing if Commissioner Ranza would just agree. First of all, the commission votes unanimously about 95% of the time. So what do they even mean by always voting no? Actually, I'll tell you. He always votes no on bad ideas with huge price tags. He votes no when he should vote no, when we would want him to vote no. Just look at the results when Ranza says no. He pushed to sell a county-owned cell tower at auction instead of selling it to a politically connected buyer. That action increased the sale price from $280,000 to $610,000. He led an effort to base county vehicle replacement decisions on actual repair costs, which saved $325,000 for the county in the first year. By insisting on the best bids and smart building plans for the law enforcement training center, the Reagan Building Remodel, and an EMS post in Park City, he saved $20 million, $10 million, and $1.5 million, respectively. Do you know what these items have in common besides Ranza helping you and I save a ton of money? Ranza voted yes on every single one of them in final passage. In other words, he votes no on done stuff, tries to fix it, and if it gets fixed, he votes yes. You know what we call that? Good judgment. A character trait far too rare in today's politicians. So let's be real here. The dishonest attacks on Ranza from the cronies at the Wichita Chamber and the Knicks campaign are about one thing giving free money to powerful people. Call it the old boys network or crony capitalism or corporate welfare or whatever you want. All those millions that Ranza helped save the county, they want that money in their pockets instead of yours. That's what this boils down to. That's why the attacks have no specifics. Ranza didn't help with the business. Ranza said no to law enforcement. Ranza opposed this partnership or some other nonsense we read in mailers or hear in attacks on radio. The reason why these attacks give no details is because the specifics show an honorable man with good judgment fighting on behalf of you and me. Folks, if we lose Richard Ranza from the Sedgwick County Commission, we would lose the most principled, fearless, and responsible advocate for you and me in all of local government. So let's get to it. Midterm primaries have low turnout. Your vote means more than usual. And there's a lot at stake in this race. Please vote for Richard Ranza on August 7th. I'm Joseph Ashby.